10 round super featherweight action. Making his way first to the ring, finally get to the blue corner. From Mexico City, Mexico, here is Daniel Rosa. All right, his opponent, just like Robert Garcia, you coming from Mexico City, you know it's gonna be tough. Daniel Rosas, bad boy. He's 31 years old, born and raised in Ciudad de Mexico. Turned pro in 2017. 21, four and one is his record. No robe, just, just shorts, let's go. <laughs> Bro, it's 92 degrees, you don't need no robe. It means business. No robe, no socks, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he's game. <laughs> got the blue A6, got the bad boy tattoo, just like the clothing line. It's like my stuff don't even have to match, let's go. Oh, you, you know those dudes are the ones you gotta watch out for, right? Yeah, those are the guys you have to watch out for, but they get absolutely no wounds. Yeah, those are the and guys that style. are like, oh, who are you fighting? I don't know. How many rounds? I don't know. <laughs> he's here to bring it, all he's worried about. Yeah, he's bringing it. But absolutely no, zero wounds. And zero here's out of five ready wounds. to make his way and to the style. ring. From our nation's capital, Washington, D.C., here is Lamont Roach Jr. Lamont Roach Jr., his only loss when he fought for the title against Jamel Herring. Semper Fi, Jamel, one of the good guys in the sport. Yeah, Jamel Herring is a really, really good fighter. I think the, greatest, the one of the best things about Jamel is that um, sometimes everybody doubts him, but he always pulls it off. And for him to have that on his resume, and it was, you know, that fight was, a, that's not a, that's, that doesn't say a lot. So I really am excited to see Lamont. I'm really excited to uh, really see what he's gonna, what he's gonna do. He looks ready, he looks zoned in. I'm looking straight in his eyes when, it, when he is um, coming to this ring, he looks ready to go. Team No Excuse in DC. Here's where Lamont Roach Jr. is coming from. His brother Jordan is a highly touted amateur. Is fighting right now in the Nationals in Lubbock, Texas. So shout out to Jordan, the 18 year old. Yeah, the JOs. I'm actually headed to the JOs after this. Right. Joe Martinez. He's J O E. <laughs> Once again, ladies and gentlemen, 10 rounds. This scheduled in a super featherweight division. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing blue trunks trimmed in white, he weighed officially 128 and one quarter pounds. This veteran of 26 professional bouts holds a record of 21 victories, including 13 knockouts, four defeats, and one draw. Presentando el hijo del Distrito Federal, Mexico, Daniel and across the ring, his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Wearing white trunks, trimmed in fur, he weighed in 130 pounds even. In 22 professional bouts, his record, 20 victories. One defeat, one draw, eight wins coming by way of knockout, hailing from and fighting out of Washington, D.C., U.S.A. Here is the Reaper, Lamont Rhodes Jr. And your referee in charge of the action, Jerry Cantu. Right here's a little high, so right here's going to be legal. Gentlemen, you were giving your instructions in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean, hard fight. Estás recibiendo sus instrucciones en el camarino. Toca levantes. Jerry Cantu, one of the good guys in the sport of boxing, referee, third man in the ring tonight as we get ready to go. This one's scheduled for 10 rounds in the super featherweight division. If you just join us right now, Bethel Grant, Blair Combs, and Marlon Esparza, the champ, as we are ready to go. Then after this, Brian Chevalier against Crunch Time James Wilkins. Then the main one on Facebook will be Fujioka and Sulan or Bina. Lamont Rocha Jr., He's 25 years old, nicknamed the Reaper. He's 21 and one, eight KOs, and he continues to grow his progress of 
Roberto Diaz and his father, Luan Sr., bringing him along nicely where it's never been easy. We we're talking about the development. It was never let me give you a guy who's going to get knocked down the first round. It's you got to earn it. And he shows that, Marlene. Yeah, no, he, he definitely has, and that's why he's such a talented fighter. I think that's why he's such a, everybody knows him very well because of that. He's always stepped up to the plate and always uh, done what he was supposed to do. Body he's a great working fighter. right away. And Ooh, boom. beautiful. Yeah, it's nice. He did a nice little shift. I wish he would have thrown some shots off of that. Probably just trying to feel him out a bit. Yeah, a little bit. Bad boy rolls out, so he's 31. Three of his four losses have come by a stoppage. He turned pro in 2007. Uh, he will get after you. He will. He does a lot of that where he stands on the rope. He'll, he'll take one to land one. But Roach is quick with that jab. He's, he's controlling the, the fight. He's controlling the inside of the ring. He's keeping the guy on, on the, um, pretty much on the outside, outskirts of the ring. He's got his back on the ropes. Roach. Uh, yeah, this is something he can definitely start to. He can start to show his talent. This type of fighter. I think he's really just trying to fill him out a bit in the Ro first round, but he's he's always game. Roach got a stoppage of Neil Tabano, the Filipino, in Fancy Springs earlier this year. They were coming back. Mentioned uh, no excuse gym in the DC area. Yeah, Roach that's landed an incredible body shot. And that's something that also happens, Larry, you know this, as you get older, you start getting your man strength. He's now 25 years old. And also a younger fighter who Hey, let the first rounds slow down a little bit, right, Marlon? Yeah, he uses his, he's using his experience now. Really, really just trying to be patient, see what he can feel out, see what he can land. Not trying to rush anything. Trying to get him back on the world title shot. He made 130 easy. Definitely a hard worker, Roach. She's a, a definitely a hard worker. And you're starting to hear more thud from his punches. Than yeah, you have he's in the past. Strong. He's looking strong. Rich is looking strong. Bad Boy Ross is mentioning it. If you go back and watch him on YouTube, he's one of those where I'll let you land. But he, see the way he cocks that right hand back? He, he tries to go for that overhand shot. That's what, I've worked a couple of his fights, and that's what he does. Just throws that overhand. Rosa is a game opponent, and he's going to be in there. I wonder what's going to happen as the fight progresses. Um, Roche, he has he has very good technical boxing fundamentals, but let's let's see what happens once the game. Once oh, the there it is! Wow, lands a left hook. The final yeah, seconds of the yeah, opening yeah, round. Roach coming on. Yeah, those are the, that's what comes with the patience. And how to do it? He lands some big shots and immediately Rosa spits out the mouthpiece. He got caught hard. Didn't go down, but that left an impact. Action. Roach with an interesting family. His sister, who's here, is a medical student at Virginia Commonwealth, finished her first year. Brother Jordan is a standout amateur who probably turned pro next year at the age of 18. And then his dad, Lamont Sr., trains him at No Excuse Gym. Uh, but for many years, it was his uncle, Boogaloo, who passed away a couple years ago, and he has a tattoo on the back of his neck, R.I.P. Boogaloo. So uh, a good background, good stand, and in his camp is also the Rincon brothers from Texas who uh, fight for Golden Boy. Yeah, the Rincon brothers are, are pretty popular. Yeah, they are. Why do you think I <laughs> shouted them out? <laughs> I ain't dumb. <laughs> Very popular. Roach is, yeah, no, I think he's getting really Beautiful comfortable. Technique. but He's catching everything. Would like to see him start throwing a little bit more now, but maybe that's just part of his tactics. I think he's really comfortable. Yeah, like I said, I mentioned I've worked a couple of fights with Rosas. Is. Usually Rosas isn't on the ropes like this much. He's usually more Rosas attacking. Is hard. Rosas, his timing right now is, is really nice. He's comfortable right there. He could be there all day. In the corner, Rosas gets out of there, but he's on the ropes. And Roach is stocking. Washington Football Club is his team. Yeah, Beautiful five, combination. Oh, up oh, there. It's always one. And big shots landing by Lamont Roach. Rosa's hanging on. Absolutely. That uppercut, that combination, he, he it looks like he's going in. You can hear the body work. He's going upstairs, Lamont Roach, and Rosa's trying to hold on. Lamont chopping overhand right. Rosa's on the ropes. Big swing and a miss from, Ro from Lamont Roach. Yeah, he's doing whatever he wants, Marlon. No, yeah, now he's comfortable, like I said, and he's really letting his combinations go, which I said in the first 30 seconds. He's doing it. Family walk, watching back home. Overhand right again from Roach. I got to say, Marlon, you, you definitely called it with this one. Um, Roach, he has incredible skills. 
and um, he, he's, he's putting it all to use right now. Look, he's got him on the ropes. He's landing every shot. Body shot. That incredible. body work, and it, oh, as Blair says, incredible, and it's done. Jerry Cantu stops it. That left hook to the body, the delay, and he cannot move right now. He's staggering. Lamont Roach Jr. looks at his mom, gives her the wink. Yeah, you, be, you better acknowledge us, Lamont Roach. He gets a woo from it, me, baby. Oh, he gets a woo from you? He gets a woo oh, from me. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know he gets a woo from you. Absolutely. The woos are hard to come by today. It's hard to come by. <laughs> oh. It wasn't much, but he looked good, a technician early on. He was, it was beautiful because he didn't. He was patient when he didn't have to be. Really made sure that he was get, was getting his timing. And then once he found his timing, he really just let go and, and finished him off the way he was supposed to without taking any punishment. Lamont Roach Jr. We're talking about that man strength. Well, he's going to have that dad strength pretty soon. He has a baby coming in September, a baby boy, his first one. So... As I told him, I'm like, dude, I met you, you were like 18 and you were like fighting the four rounders. Now you're like grown up, kid, and fighting for a title. And I think that's going to be pretty soon. That's what Roberto Diaz was saying, telling me about Roach. Let's look at some of the replays. It was all Lamont Roach today. Yeah, see there, that's when he's comfortable. He's not taking any punishment. He's catching everything and letting go whenever he wants. Technician for sure. Good job by Jerry Cantu. too. He saw that a fighter was just done. Yeah, he, he was taking too much punishment. Beautiful yeah. finish from, from Roach. Joe Martinez. Here comes the official time. Two minutes, 14 seconds. Round number two. Referee Jerry Cantu puts a halt to the bout, declaring your winner by way of knockout, the Reaper, Lamont Roach.